Hey everyone and welcome to today's video which is going to be a Happy Meal video of all the Happy Meal that I got in the past week. Um, this is I'm filming this on Friday nights so if anything comes um, after this I will save it for next week. Um, but yeah, this is the stuff I got from last weekend to this weekend, and I've got some really good goodies to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you the supplies first, and then I'm going to show you the coloring books. And I think what I'm going to start doing when I do these Happy Mail is to show you kind of like a, um, like a flip through or mini flip throughs of each book. Um, just kind of show you kind of like fast flip throughs. Um, so let's just get started with the supplies, and then I will go ahead and um, show you the books. I think I have these in order. The supplies are not in order. But the books, I believe I have an order from the day they arrived. So the first thing that came together was this palette, the watercolor palette or paint palette, and then these water brushes. And I think I, I use these right, I really love them. These ones have um, a one, two, three size to them. So they're like different sizes and they're a little more sturdy of a brush than uh, the other water brushes that I have. They, uh, they had a little more control to them. And um, it was a little easier to use. The caps are very secure. Yeah, but that was the two. The one is like the tiny one. And this one was like really, really useful for a lot of stuff. You got like the little tiny brush. And then you have one for bigger areas. I put this back in here, but I'm gonna leave it outside of this um, um, after this video, but put it back in there. And then you have the bigger one for bigger areas. I did use these. I did use one product um, that I was sent. Um, in a video, or not a video, in a book um, that I can show you how they, how it works so like that then too because I was really excited about it and just jumped right into it. And then with the palette, um, I don't know which side's for which. I never had one of these before. I think the last time I think I've or I used a palette, I was in like kindergarten or first grade and they weren't like this nice of a palette. So, but you have like a smooth side and then you have a more textured side. So I think... Correct me if I'm wrong. This side, the texture side, is for like the um, water soluble crayons and stuff like that. So you can kind of like put it on there and then mix it together. And this side is for the watercolors in the palette, like the watercolors in like palette form. So you can take them out like there and then mix them on here. I think I could be wrong. And then this side over here is for like the like watercolor pencils and like um, watercolor crayon type of things. I could be wrong there, but I think that's what it is. And I think, do you hold you hold it this way? I was holding it like, like that, cause it like rests a little better and you can like rip it. So I think, I don't know which way to hold it. Um, but it's gonna be definitely come in useful, especially when I show you the next thing, as well as cause I want to really get into using watercolors. So I'm definitely be using this a lot in the coming months, the coming weeks, coming days really. And then these I have used and love them. I just drained them out of the water and then put them back in the packet. But I'm gonna put them in my cup behind me, my little glass that has all my um, water, all my brushes and stuff like that in there. They set these back here, and then the next day after that came, I got these in the mail, which are the Karen Dosh Neo Color 2s. It came in like a saran wrap thing with like three of them, so I have like three sets of the 40. Um, this one I used, but this one got a little squished, but none of the stuff inside are um, any kind of like damage to it. Just the guy um, shoved this in my mailbox. <laughs> I don't know if he squished it or just got squished in transit, but none of the stuff inside is damaged so i made sure to definitely check that i was gonna go outside and stop the mail guy while he was still at someone else's house and say something but um i was really really excited and shocked when i seen these come in the mail like i knew something was coming and i kind of had like a small idea because um because these came came first so i had like a small idea but when i seen them i was like kind of like kind of like in awe because like these are something that i've been like eyeing up and never thought I'd own because they're like the one thing like like I with, with watercolors like I am still really new to them and I don't have full confidence yet with a lot of watercolor stuff but I definitely want to do more with it because I do love the effect it gives and I was using hold on let me slide these over here I was using this set here so it's on the top after that and then um I was using these but there you go and I was really like, I was like doing like different, trying to do different effects and testing them all out. And I'm going to do a video 
with these, like testing them out and playing with them. And I'm going to swatch these tonight after I'm done filming. So you can kind of see the range of them. And it has a lot like where you can like mix them all together, the color combinations. And I'm going to um, swatch these out tonight, write down the names and just kind of like um, put them in effect with water and stuff like that. But I was definitely using them both ways. And one thing I learned, um, I was holding the, the crayons or like the, I think they're like, yeah, they're, more, they're crayons, right? wax pastel, the wax pastel crayon things. Um, and I was holding it like this, so I can get like the top part, like, well, that one wasn't used. Um, where was it when I was doing? Like I was taking it off like the top of the black, but I was holding it like this. And my whole hand down here was like covered in the wax. So if you hold these in your hand, be, be warned, they do kind of like um, melt a little bit and your hands will be covered. But I loved using these, they were really fun. So I'm definitely using these a lot in coming pictures because they work really, really well and I had a lot of fun using them. Um, but yeah, and I used the um, heat gun that I had or uh, last week and I loved it. I was like doing something in a picture you should see and I was like going to the bathroom, like zapping up heat to dry it up so I can do like another layer on top. So yeah, I was definitely going a little crazy with layering and stuff like that with the colors and it came out picture I did I love how it came out so yeah I am going to be loving coloring these I'm going to be doing a video probably tomorrow night um where I just kind of play with these if not early next week um uh to see how tomorrow feels like for um filming but I'll definitely do a video soon of me coloring with these and um testing them out and stuff like that I'll show you how they work into like different paper and stuff like that so definitely be playing with these in the future but they are absolutely amazing and they're super fun to color with. So I was so, I am so, so excited to have these in my collection. I was joking with my mom because I had like the three tints, like, you know what? You can have a tin if you want to use these. And my mom was like, I just got used to using pencils. I am not, I'm not being that adventurous. She's like, I, I am happy with the, uh, with pencils. And right now that is enough adventure for me and my coloring. So eventually I think she'll use them. But for right now, I think, well, let me put this stuff back in. I think for right now, um, I'm just gonna save these, set them aside, uh, set a, a tin aside for my mom when she gets more um, adventurous for her coloring stuff. But I do have now a, a few backups if I do I end up loving a color. Let me set these over here. Hopefully the tripod does not shake. There we go. So that is it for su the supplies. We're getting into the coloring books. So I believe these are in order of when they were sent. I believe. So the first book, um, this one came with um, last week when my mom got um, some happy mail. This one was in there as well for me. And it is Fairy Tales by Emily Lynn, uh, Lynn Hall Oberg. So this one is gorgeous. It's the same kind of art style uh, from the same artist um, that was in the Stagner Oxogner, which I love that book. And her artwork is amazing. And it's very um, it's very open, I guess you would say. It'd be like a very, like her artwork is very, I guess you would say like beginner friendly if you're like into coloring books or just getting into color books because there's a lot of wide spaces, which you'll see um, in them. You get the foldable pages where you can color this and it is um, colorable because it's not like shiny like other books. You have a nice fairy tale page. This book belongs to page, which I'm going to be start coloring. You'll see um, there are books I'm going to show you. I have start coloring the book belongs to page because I think um, with my um, resolution or goal for the year to color at least one page in each of my books I haven't colored yet, I think I'm going to color the this book belongs to page. That way, you know, it kind of I can test the paper out because, you know, it's all paper are, are different. And before I jump into a picture and then maybe not like it, I can go ahead and, um, sorry, I'm just going to zoom you so you can see both pages here. Um, but that way I can test the page out and that way I can also do the book belongs to page. I feel like I, um, neglect the book belongs to page the most. So I want to definitely start doing that. And as you can see, um, her artwork, you really have like a nice page like that, very open spaces like I'll say you know it's very um friendly if you're a new colorist or an advanced colorist and I have been loving coloring in Sagnarok Sogner so I definitely am excited to do more of her artwork um and I think besides that um the book belongs to page I have a page I'm going to be coloring in which I'll show you in the back I think I have it but I didn't tag it I'll have to find it but once again, it's kind of her same style of artwork, um, where it's kind of like very whimsical and very 
fairy tale-esque, I guess you could say, which of course the title is fairy, fairy Tales. I think um, Jen from Reading the Pogues did this page, I believe. I'm not sure. I think it was her. And I love the, how she does the outlines of the animals with like a lighter, um, see if we can, I can zoom in, like a lighter line work. So they kind of like will pop out or like fade in a little better when you color them. And this one is a very nice paper as well, kind of very reminiscent of the Johanna Bassford paper. So just like I said, when you do mini flip throughs, you can get an idea of the books when you see them. And I think when I show you the page, I'm going to do besides the book belongs to page. This one. I see the photograph and it's like, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, acrylic paint, mix like and make a wash over the whole paper, uh, the whole um, photo and do like, um, like a light mocha color, which is the, I think the name of the thing, but like, uh, like make it look like a brown, like photo and stuff like that. I still do them in color and color them, but make it look like it's like an aged photo. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that one when I get to it. But yeah, I cannot wait to color in this one yet because it is absolutely gorgeous and definitely has, I think, a page for pretty much every colorist depending on your mood or if you're like like you like your flowers like your people it's a very easy like a very um even mix i guess uh, the best way to say an even mix of all um art in this book so definitely am excited to color some in this one here uh, let's see where can i set these books let's them right back here and this next one I was a little excited when I got it. Um, I, this was actually um, a birthday gift, um, which came, came a little early because my, birth, my birthday is uh, February 12th. Actually, I had to remember there for a second, but um, my birthday is February 12th. And I got excited. I opened the ba a package because when it came, you know how like your your address is in the middle and the sender is like up there. This uh, person, I think, sells her own coloring books like that and like ships it out like that. But it had her name up there and I was like, Oh my god, is that is this is this what I think it is? This is what I think it is. I opened it up, it was a gift wrap. I seen the card, and I was like, it said happy birthday and Vicky. And I was like, oh, oh my god, it's it's what I think it is. I opened it up, it's like, do I do I save it? Do I keep it? You know, and just like open it up and not do a page. And I posted I was gonna like I opened it up, I was gonna do a page to my birthday. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. But um uh, they posted I said it's okay to do it, so I definitely I color a page right away afterwards, but that is Fairy Miracles by Clara Markova. This book, I have been avoiding flip throughs. I've watched people color in it, but I've never seen like the flip through portions of it because I want to be surprised. And this one here has to be probably my favorite Clara Markova pay uh, book because the like, illustrations are here are amazing. I think there's maybe one that I'm not really, really, really fond of in here, but I think I might do that when I ask like a test page for like the watercolors stuff like that because. I still like it, but it's not like my favorite out of all of them. And I have colored one page in here, which I did. Um, I did put a little, a little sticker thing here. It came with it, uh, with like the her signature on there. I put that like right there, and then um, it comes with like a note from her, and um, it comes with, like the note inside, and then it came with this bookmark, I believe. I think this one came with it. Um, because yeah, that one I think was um, Magical Delight, and that one is Tenderful Enchantments. Um, but I set that aside, because I'm going to be coloring them soon. But I started, I figured, you know what, I'm going to... Because with her books, I kind of had, like, a little bad experience with pencils with them when I first did, because her paper in here is very... It's very smooth paper. So I had, like, to learn, relearn to use my pencils, but I feel like I did a good job with paint. I did, I really learned how to use pencils on here, and I did just the... Opening a uh, book, the title page, or um, not title page, the book belongs to page. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of stickles on there that I used. I got my last haul. And I absolutely love how um, she came out with the wings. I don't know if the, it'll come up on camera with the spark. There you go. I used, I did color it underneath with pencil and then I used the um, twinkle, I believe. Yeah, twinkle stickles. But I stickle out the whole page because this book is one-sided and it's the first page. Like, I'm going to use my stickles on here. But I used my Prismacolor pencils and I really did like how um, I was able to um, 
do like the flowers up here, the uh, up here, and then all the color combination. I do have this in a coming color, color combination video. The green leaves and the brown here will be in a color combination video. And I wasn't really happy with the the top color, the mushrooms, because you couldn't really see. You can see on camera the details around, but you couldn't really see the other ones. So I had to rework the toadstool color. But I definitely did. We had a lot of fun coloring this, and I'm going to be coloring a lot more in here. I don't know if I'll be just coloring from front to back, because like I said, this one is one of the ones that I do love every single image in here. So I might just start from front to back here in this book, but um, we shall see you now. But I do love every single picture in this one, and her artwork just keeps getting better and better. And what I do, I, I've noticed there's a lot more double page spreads in this book than her other ones, which has me excited. This is the only one right here that I think I might test some mediums on. Because I wasn't like super, super fond of it, but I love it at the same time, you know? So I might use this one to test my watercolors out on here, the Neo Color 2s. I'm not going to do a full flip through of this one, because I think everyone has seen it, but... Just know it is just as gorgeous as her other books, and it has the same good quality paper. It's just, the paper in here is very smooth. It works really good with markers and stuff like that. If you want to use your alcohol markers, water-based markers, it's just, with the pencil, since it is so smooth, you have to kind of like relearn how to kind of use the pencils in here, if that makes sense. I haven't tested out harder lead pencils in here. The hard lead pencils may work a little better than the Prismas and the Premiers because of the fact that they were super soft pencils and the harder ones might work a little better. So I will test them out eventually in here. I might find like a page like this one here with all the flowers and test out the different um, pencils. Of course, I have to do this one eventually because the cats. I think I'll wait to do that one until my family adopts a second cat so that way it's like my cat that we have now and the future cat. And this one here is the cover image. I think I might try doing the house. I found a color combination that almost looks like this color right here on the door with like the dark blue and like the slightly greenish color in there. So I think I am going to um, attempt to try doing this one, at least the house, like the cover in the blue colors. And this one would be really fun. I might start this one, just do like very slowly so I don't think I'd want to do this one all at one sitting, but very slowly. And then in the back of this one, you get her doors again, where you can put them in the doors so like that. It shows you the pictures, where to do it and everything like that. You could put it with um, the fruit bat page, which is back here. The fruit bat page right here. There's a, a little door right there. You could like, put a little cut there, and then you slip the door into there and you can like glue the back side so you can open and close the door and then in the one in the front here for the proposal picture did I pass it? I passed it right didn't I? so you can like open and close on the proposal picture which I don't know if I'd ever do that. Like right here, you can like put the door there so you can like open and close and he's proposing to her. I don't know if I'd ever like cut and do that because I think I'd be nervous of like ruining the page. But I might do it because I did see, um, I think Dee Dee was the one who did the, on the, on the doors when she was showing, um, the one picture. Or one, oh, she was, I think she was coloring from this book and then she was showing the doors in the other books. And it does look really nice when it's colored and done. It's just I don't know if I have the courage to do that in my book. But I'm definitely, you'll be seeing a lot more pages in that very soon. And I think I might do a page in that um, um, either for my first live stream or for um, Floral February. So, and the next one, I got two at the same day. And the first one, I knew it was, com it was coming. And the second one, it was like a surprise when it came. And the surprise one was stress, uh, Stressless Coloring Mandalas. Um, because when another person sent the other one, she knew how much I loved mandalas and how I fell, I fell in love with them. And this book is gorgeous. It's by Jim Gogarty, founder of iHeartMandalas.com. And it's just 100 plus mandalas that are just really nice. The paper in here is really, it's like the um, Dover publication paper. So definitely put something behind there if you are using your um, markers. Which I'll show you in a second. I was using markers. And... Like the, on the watercolors, do uh, water water based markers do ghost through and bleed through. But I start randomly one night when I couldn't sleep. I started 
This one right here, I was using Crayola brush tip markers. I just started this one randomly, one that I couldn't sleep. And I'm just probably going to tackle this, uh, this book randomly. I'm just going to show you some random ones here because there's 100 plus ones. I, if I had to flip through it, it'd probably be um, like a 40, 50 minute video or an hour long video. But yeah, there's definitely really nice ones here. I'm going to be keeping this one out in case I you can't sleep at night. And I just can't, I can I pull over like my um, Crayola Super Tips, brush pens, or like my um, Stetler 326 markers. And a book I did know is coming was the Coloring Heaven Halloween special. Um, she saw, I saw that I had this one on my wish list because you can buy some of them secondhand off of like Amazon and stuff like that. I had this one on the wish list and she said that she had a couple extra copies and went and sent it to me. So I absolutely love it. This one is probably uh, my favorite of the Coloring Heaven, of recent Coloring Heaven ones. Um, I think like the, this one and the, um, was it the Momo Girls one that came out? That's the only one that like caught my attention. Which is why I've held back on like actually getting a subscription because like only certain ones have like popped out to me. But like at the same time, I do like them because the paper is nice in there. But this one here has been come my favorite one. It has pictures by um, Molly Harrison, Selena Fennec, uh, Lisa Matrokin, and Anise Guerrero, which I have to look if there's any other pictures by Anise Guerrero or um, coloring books out there because. Their artwork is absolutely gorgeous, which I would, the only thing I, I, I hope, like, in the future, like, Coloring Heaven would do is, like, when you open it up, instead of, like, just coming up to the, like, the first page here, is that they would do, like, a table of contents page, where, like, if there's different artists, it shows you, like, which books each are from, you know, um, but I just wish they kind of like that, but the first uh, 10 pictures are by Molly Harrison, and I was super excited about that, because I even wanted to test out her coloring books in the future, uh, before, and these ones are absolutely gorgeous, the ones that they selected. I think Molly Harrison is one of the ones that I think all of her books are gorgeous. I just don't own any yet. But in the future I will, but now I have some of these pictures. So I can color these for color longs so like that. And then you have Selena Fennec, which I believe these ones are from... Are these from the Fade Adorable lines of our coloring books? Could be wrong, I'm not sure. Um, but these ones are really nice. And the next one after this one, this one I tested the Neo Color 2s out on. I think that this paper in here is really good for watercolors. Um, so I just figured I'll test them out. And I'm really happy with how she came out very translucent there. And then I, this is all basically watercolor. And then this is down here, it's just black acrylic paint. But I had so much fun doing this one, going back and forth from the bathroom to heat gun it, you know. But I didn't want to leave the heat gun out just in case my cat had to dump, uh, jump up on the desk, you know. But I had so much fun with it, and now it has that, like, the nice parchment sound. But I'm really happy with how she came out and how the sky came out. I was happy that I left the last second, too. I put the little pink in there up at the top. I don't know how well it picked up on camera because I didn't want it to be all too much purple. But I definitely loved it. And this paper does hold up very nicely to, um watercolor so you definitely want to if you have any of these books you want to test like a watercolor medium out this paper is really good for it because it doesn't buckle um very it buckles but it doesn't like rip that's what i'm trying to say it doesn't really rip um so that is really good for that and this one well that's the last one and these ones here are the lisa matrokin ones this is the only ones i think i might not be the biggest fan of i like the count like the vampire one the fortune teller at the front but i'm not sure if i'm like a big fan of these ones here I do like them, but at the same time, like, I think I'd have to be in the mood to start them, you know? And then you have, oh, no, oh. and then you have the Anise Guerrero ones, which, these are gorgeous ones here. I love them, and I'm going to be coloring probably all of the Anise Guerreros in the uh, near future. This one I did start. Um, I just put a base layer of Cali Art markers down, and I'm going to come in with some pencils and shade on top. Um, this one's the only one that, like, really popped out because you don't really see... Many girls with like a shaved head type of thing, so I figured, you know, I'm going to start this one. And I'm going to do her with probably personal colors on top, probably a black acrylic background, and then some, um, maybe some, um, metallic or pearlescent paints for like this stuff up here to kind of like make a pop out. But yeah, I just, one night after filming, I was like, I'm not tired yet. I'm just going to put some marker down paper, and this one is the one that caught my eye. Then you have this one here, which I love this one. I just love the details of like, whole images there. We have the Grey Witch. 
You have Gimme Your Wings, which I definitely love that one. And then, I'm not even gonna butcher that name. I think it's for uh, the Day of the Dead type of picture. You have Famine. I'm not gonna try butchering that name either. Artemisa, I think that's what that one's called. And then you have the Season of the Witch, which I'm really excited about calling this one. I'm gonna do a base layer of, I think, Cali Art markers and a pencil on top. But yeah, I hopefully I can see if they, uh, this person has some coloring books out. If not, I'm gonna see how to um, support them because their art is amazing. So yeah, you'll be seeing probably a lot of finished pages on this in the coming months because it doesn't have to be Halloween to color Halloween images. And then the last book I got uh, from Sharon, I won as a giveaway um, and life happened for a while. So it's like right when the moving thing, but it came in and we got in touch and came in and that is Nightfall by Maria Trolle. And this book is gorgeous. I love this book. It's gorgeous. Like I said, I think Maria Trolle and um, Johanna Bass were like the best like flower person, people like drawers or illustrators. But I think Maria Trolla takes the cake with it. I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to start doing the um, This Book Belongs To page here. Um, but I think I have one picked out as well that I will do um, separately if I decide to do the other one. But yeah, I just love the details and the flowers that she does. And I like that you're starting, they're starting to incorporate more black backgrounds in the, her books. This is one of the ones I might start um, and do like maybe some watercolors on it. I'm not sure. I'm using my Arteza um, real brush pens on. But yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. And of course, the cat. Any kind of book that has cats in it is an instant favorite. But I definitely to pull um, Twilight Guard off my shelf and do some more pictures in that as well. And the paper in here is really nice. It's like the, um, almost like the Hannah Carl's on paper, but it's a little smoother than the Hannah Carl's on. At least that's what it feels like to me. But the one I'm going to be doing, I think, is this one. For some reason, I've seen this one, and I just loved it, and it, like, popped out to me. So I was like, you know what? I think this is going to be one of the first ones I do in here. If I don't do the book um, belongs to page first. And I like, hold on, where, where do you go? The ones back here, the little Pac-Man ghosts. I don't think that's what they are, but like little Pac-Man ghosts, like this would look like all through the book. Oh, it's those two pages. They have a list of all the flower names, which are in. Um, what is her language? I think it's Swedish. It's all in Sweden. Swedish. It's in Sweden. Yeah, it's in Swedish. But yeah, I. This book is gorgeous, so I'm so happy to have it on my shelf and have it in my collection. And I'm gonna be coloring a lot in here probably. Um, I might do one. I'm like I'm really conflicted at like what I want to color next month, so I'll probably be all over the place next month. Um, because as you know, like flowers and doing like floral and stuff like that in the coloring books are one of my favorite things to do. So I'm like I have so many books that fit in that theme. So I'm like, what do I want to do? Like how how do I do that? So I think the nice thing about it is you know I can. Now if I do start doing live streams, stuff like that, I can kind of incorporate extra books in there because if I do it on live streams, um, just as like a warning, when I do stuff on live streams, I probably will not finish it on live stream. I probably will finish off camera type of thing, but I'll show you if I ever, like say if I, like say I start it, this is open to a random page, like say I start it, this page here on camera, and I would finish off camera, I'd make sure to show it on like a next stream type of thing, but um, yeah, I, I don't know which books I'm going to do yet for next month's theme, but yeah, I'm just really excited about having this book, and it is gorgeous. I can't, I was, I've been flipping through it, like, all day long, because, like, the Sonora one, there's, like, it's going to be hard to pick a picture. I think that's why, as well, I haven't colored that much in Twilight Garden yet, because I haven't, it's very hard to pick a picture in the Maria Trolley books. So, yeah, I'm going to keep talking when I set this out, but yeah, that is the happy mail for this week. Like I said, if anything else comes in, I will show it next week. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I'm really excited about uh, calling in some of these books. And well, all these books, not some of these books, all of these books. And I will be testing out the um, new color twos tomorrow, probably, or the next day on camera. We shall see when it goes up or if I do film it this weekend. Just depends on how 
and how um I feel this weekend and stuff like that, and like the energy levels stuff like that. But if I feel like filming stuff like that, I will definitely do that. If not, I'll work on the swatch videos tonight or the swatch um swatches so you can see the full list of colors and that way I can see the full list of colors as well. But that is it. I'm rambling now. I'm gonna end this video and um figure out page to color. I had to fit in and finish my page, which you seen it last week. Yeah, you see a bit of it on the stream I'm doing. That one from Sagner Oxlogner. You see a little bit of it on the stream. But I figured I got this book last week, I'll show it. And now I have, I think that's both of her books. So I love her books, you'll see a lot more of that. But yeah, I'm rambling. I'm going to end this video now and upload it. But that's it for today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, I hope you're, yeah. I'm, I rambled myself into a corner. I hope you all have an amazing day. And until next time, happy coloring.